All right, thank you for staying with us. Now, barely 48 hours to the off-cycle governorship election in Imo, Bielsa, and Kogi states. Preparations are in top gear as INEC and security agencies have assured of uh, their readiness for hit free polls come Saturday. Now, governorship candidates in the three states have signed a peace accord promising to ensure a smooth electioneering process. The peace accord, which is organized by the National Peace Committee, is headed by General Abdusalam Abubakar. In Imo State, Deputy Inspector General of Police Frank Mba assured that the police have done 80% of deployments and is expected to be completed in the next 24 hours. He also noted that the deployment is not to intimidate voters, but to create a safe environment for the electorate to exercise their franchise. Well, joining us in the studio is political analyst Zigi Ibe, and also joining us from Imo State. Good morning, by the way. Thank you. For right. Me. And also joining us from Imo State is TVC News correspondent Abimbola Agbebi. Bimbo, good morning. Talk to us from where you are all right we'll definitely get back to bimbo as soon as we have her but let me come to you now ziggy uh the level of deployment of security personnel and even the deputy inspector general general of police frank umba has said that it is not to intimidate uh you know the electorate in the state but do you think it's as a result of the peculiarities of emo states we have seen this kind of deployment in the state uh, ahead of the elections um, what I feel is that uh, during the electioneering, um, building up the elections like this, um, the security agencies will determine which areas more securities has to be beefed up and which areas um, security personnel will be deployed to. That um, they are in that job, mm -hmm. you know, to knowing where flashpoints, you know, uh, areas that um, are are polarized by by security issues uh, you know and um, these few days a few weeks few days we've seen so many rising tensions in mm. the in the emo state because uh, i don't know why because kogi too um is uh, next to emo state in that uh, in that rating in terms of insecurity and uh, I think the security agencies are doing all they could do to quell or to nip in the board issues that might um, 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 shorten the shunt the the process. You know, um, Frank Mba recently I, I think I watched him speak yesterday when he said uh, that uh, it is not unconnected with the issues in Imo State insecurities in Imo state. Mm. Not necessarily that it's, it is a southeast um, state, but uh, I think there are flashpoints. There are security bridges in Imo state. Mm, but and, uh, recall that um, leading up to the election, I think the presidential election, there was a time where uh, the um, they, there were talks about no election going to happen in Imo state yes. and all of that. But and then few, again, and a few other states too, and some other states yeah, within, within the, the sound east. Yes. But then leading up to this off cycle election, uh, we heard that um, they lifted the ban on the seat at home on Mondays. So perhaps one felt okay, all might be okay and good leading up to yes, the election. Yes, but the security agencies are not uh, actually resting on their oars in that regard. Whether uh, um, uh, Sita Home has been arrested or forgotten, I think they must still put that into consideration because uh, the, the, the boys or the people that are fomenting this trouble might latch on this, you know, to really uh, cause trouble small. So I think uh, their, their preparation should be more, far more than what we used to have, you know. And if you look at the way it is, the tension there, got heightened again recently when Ajero, yes. the, the labor man, uh, was uh, attacked. You know, you know. I think uh, the man forgot that uh, he is a labor person. He don't. Uh, he not really. He is a labor chairman. Mm. At the same time, he is a labor party member. A shifting for that matter. I can confirm that. To but you. what he went to do in Imo State, according yeah, to him, yeah, but it was wrong. According for him to, him, to have interloped. 
interloped her. Yes, he's an he interloper. Said, he went to picket or he went to, you know... For, Why picketing a state that is preparing for a national duty? Because national, salaries, uh, gratuities and all, he said, according to him, were not paid. But the governor came out to say he has paid all outstanding dues to the, to the workers. And of course, the workers didn't join uh, 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 Joe, uh, Joe Ajero in his uh, plan to picket the, the, the state. Mm. They didn't join him. That means they are in solidarity with the governor. So Joe Ajero actually was working for the other parties. Mm. Mm. Yes, it's very obvious. Okay, why well, wouldn't want to say that he got the, he, 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 it was good for what he got, but it was a wrong timing, a wrong time for him to have done that. So is that, does he deserve the beating he got? Is I didn't say so, but I'm saying that he shouldn't have meddled into these electioneering processes because going to Imo State about the time he went there was wrong. Mm. Imo State is actually, Imo State and other of, of sex, uh, secular um, uh, states yes. were actually um, uh, involved deeply into making sure that some of these processes are righted. Mm. So going there to picket the place means that you have a, a second agenda. You have another thing in mind. Mm. And the people you are, you are saying that they're not being paid said, we have been paid. And the government said, yes, we paid them. And they didn't uh, discontinent uh, what uh, the governor said. So why did Joe Ajero go there to do? Now he has declared the state. Uh, uh, the governor. The That's governor. Not, yes, yeah, non, non, not non, non grata. Non grata. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What matters is that the state must conduct free, fair, and credible election, which Joe Ajero intended to, to disrupt. So it was wrong. Mm. Well, the Labour Union will vehemently continue to you know, disagree with you if you... Well, it is my opinion. I, opinion. I'm not speaking for anyone. I'm speaking for myself as Ziggy Ibe. Absolutely. Okay, that's the way I viewed it. Absolutely. So moving away from there, one would wonder why the INEC um, National Commissioner representing Southeast, you know, asked order the journalists to turn off their cameras, which led to some sort of uproar. Uh, uh, yeah. Among the, uh, I'm, I'm trying to hurt somewhere. You know, among the, uh, those who came there for the party members and also the traditional leaders, uh, chiefs who came there for, you know, peace meeting and all of that. In fact, even had the traditional uh, rulers, you know, left the meeting and they did not return. What did you make of this confusion? Um, you see, in an election like this, we have, about this time, only three states that are conducting their own second election. So concentrations are needed. I, would, I wasn't there. I read just like you read. I didn't know why he um, eventually opted for that. But, you see... Each time issues like this come up, I want to look it from the angle of who is involved. Okay? Mm. Um, there might be security discussions they wanted to have. Okay? And they wouldn't want it to be made public. I wasn't there. Could there be anything they would want to have a conversation about? But like election was not on. Not there was not no voting that was on when he asked all the journalists no, no, I'm to just asking, shut off their, their, can their there cameras. Be, can there be some sort of information the electoral body would want to have with the political it could, party? It's members, very possible. Which would not... It's very possible. You know what I, I felt when I heard it, or when I read it? I felt, you see, here we want to make issues from every non-issues. Really? Yes. When he says all cameras should be shut off, that it should, a particular session he is having should not be covered, he might have his reason. Election was not going on. It was just a verbal word. It was a, a peace committee, right? Mm -hmm. A peace committee was on. And he wanted to pass a message mm. to the stakeholders. So he must have deemed it fit that it's going to be a security bridge or a security that wouldn't want to be let to the public. Because yeah. everything right now mm. is in the public domain. That's right. okay. In fact, anything you do visually is in the public. So for him to have said, shut off your camera, or we don't want this recorded, I think he must have it. But, you know, crying foul always has been, um, uh, is, is becoming a tradition with all of us.
right. each time anything doesn't go in our own personal Direction. way, okay. all we do is to say, no, he has a personal agenda. He wants to. The man we are talking about is not actually working for the uh, APC government, um, APC party in the state. Is an IREC, INEC commissioner okay. that who will take charge of all. So he knows certain information, security information, you and I wouldn't know. Okay. So we need to he's talking from the standpoint. Mm. Okay. okay. We need to go on a break. And uh, when we return, uh, our other guests will be joining us. Stay with us. All right, thank you for staying with us. We're still looking at Emo State. And uh, the matter right now is uh, the fact that uh, they are to commence indefinite strike, even though that was supposed to have begun yesterday, where they were supposed to down tools. And we saw the Aviation Union uh, also agreeing to down tools, where they declared the governor of Emo State, Hopus Adema, persona non grata. And uh, we are also looking at uh, the matter of uh, the labor centers accusing Imo State government and the Nigeria police force of ignoring their demands in the aftermath of the brutalization of the NLC president, Joe Ajeru, and some of uh, the workers. And so because of this, uh, there will be a nationwide industrial action uh, next Tuesday. Now, the NLC is also demanding uh, non-payment of outstanding salary arrears, the refusal or to implement previous agreements and unjust declaration of workers as ghosts. So joining us uh, to also talk about this matter uh, beyond the election that we have been speaking about is uh, uh, lawyer Tunji Abduhamid. Good morning, Tunji. Good Thank morning, you for joining Carol. us. Thank you for having me. And yes, I greet you. Right. Now, you see, the question on the minds of uh, a majority of Nigerians is that uh, what happened in Imo State? How does it translate to having a nationwide strike? Talking about uh, the brutalization of uh, Joe Ajero, NLC president. But we'll come to that question because we have a reporter, Bimbo Agbebi, who is in Imo State, to bring us up to speed with uh, the mood developments there with regards to the level of compliance with regards to this strike that uh, was called by organized labor and the level of preparation of INEC towards the election on Saturday. Bimbo. Yes, good morning, Veronica. It's a beautiful uh, Thursday morning here in Oweri, the Imo State capital. And I'm so happy to tell you that Imo State feels very calm this Thursday morning. The people of Imo are looking forward to the Saturday, uh, the November 11 election. Uh, in a short while, uh, sensitive materials will be moved from the CBN office here to the three senatorial districts in the state. And, um, of course, earlier in the week, uh, the Independence National Electoral Commission, through the resident electoral commissioner, Professor Sylvia Agu, uh, informed us that a total of 2,318,919 uh, permanent voter cards representing 95.8% of uh, registered voters have been collected. Also, uh, 18 political parties are expected to participate in this election. And out of the 4,720 polling units, uh, the the exercise will be taken out of out of the 4,758 polling units. Election will be taking place in 4,720 uh, polling units. INEC uh, told us earlier in the week that uh, non-sensitive materials were moved to the 27 local government areas, and of course they have also stated their readiness for this poll. For this polls, uh, in the last two or three days, uh, we, one of the issues that have dominated conversation are to do with the safety uh, of the environment where this election will be taking place. We've had cases where people were recalling events that took place in the last election where we had a uh, snatching of ballot, ballot box, electoral violence, uh, attack on, uh, uh, on, on, on electoral officers, voter intimidation and all of that. Now, people of, as much as the, as the people of Imo would want to, you know, go to the polls to exercise their franchise on the 11th of November, they want to know what uh, the uh, electoral body and, of course, security agencies will be doing differently this time to ensure that they can go all out and and cast their ballots without fear of being intimidated. Now, uh, in the last few days, uh, INEC had tried to reassure people that uh, it has also reviewed uh, the errors and a lot of things that happened in the past election, and it is hoping to improve on the processes and the procedures of this election. Also, if you recall, the uh, chairman of the independent, the, uh, the, the, the INEC boss, uh, Nabuja, has, has said that the 
uh, responsibility for the security of the election lies with security agencies. And he has gone ahead to say that um, they should be decisive enough to bring to book or punish, you know, any perpetrator of electoral violence. Now, we had, uh, this, uh, we had different security agencies and the electoral body trying to calm the people of Imo that they will do things differently this time. We had uh, a, a stakeholders meeting. Uh, no, we, ha we, ha we had a, a, an event yesterday where the uh, 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 DIG, uh, Frank Kuba, was telling us is their level of preparedness with regards to security, where he told us that, of course, 80% of deployment has been done in terms of security, and they are hoping to wrap up work, you know, in the next four, uh, 24 hours, talking about the remaining 20%. So we are waiting to see what will play out, you know, as okay. this election day draws near. Like I told you earlier, uh, in a short while, we expect that sensitive materials be moved to the three senatorial districts. Veronica. Well, calling for a, a strike. What is the level of compliance? Because that's also a matter of concern as to how this would affect the election on Saturday. All right, so in, in some parts of Imo State, there's total blackout. Um, people have been talking about the fact that um, why will such a thing happen when, you know, it's only a few days to the election? Of course, this is also, also dominating conversations. People cannot understand why this decision will be taken. And, of course, a lot of people are talking about uh, how this would impact on the exercise that will, happening, that will be happening on, you know, on Saturday. So we, we, we are waiting to see how all of these things will play out, you know, even as uh, the clock ticks to uh, the 11th of November. Veronica. Bimbo, we'll definitely keep tabs with you for more developments out of Imo State. Thank you. Now, you've heard it all from our correspondent there in Imo State, uh, the fact that uh, there is some level of compliance with regards to uh, that strike. Some places there's blackout and the fact that the governor was declared persona non grata by the aviation union, so to speak. Is this justified? Yes, we know there was um, an attack on the president of the union, but is it justified leading up to an election? Was he supposed to have been in Imo State, like Ziggy said, before knowing that there is an election happening on Saturday? Why was he in Imo State? Is this justified? Yeah, where do I start from? Is it um, why was he in Imo State or why when was he it, knows why that was it, was it, the why was, it, why was he beaten or why, why <laughs> start was anywhere. there a, a, a strike? Let me start from the beating. Mm. Uh, for me, I, that beating of uh, the president of NSC or any other person is condemnable. We must condemn it. It's not a proper thing to do. Whether he's playing politics, whether he's doing the wrong thing, whether he's disobeying court order or whatever, it's not a justifiable reason for anyone to beat anyone, anybody up. That is a breach of his fundamental right and it's oppressive as far as I'm concerned. And it should be condemned. It's condemned. And notwithstanding that, I recognize the fact that labor... Do they have the right to protest? Yes. Do they have the right to belong to a political party? Yes. Were they part of the Labour Party? Yes, they are, even the, they are the one of the Labour Party. If you don't know, most people don't know this. The Labour, uh, the Labour unions are the owners of the uh, Labour Party itself, and the party itself. So, and they have the right to also uh, campaign. But like I said, let's leave politics apart. Whether or not it was in a... Uh, uh, can we divorce him. politics from the matter on the ground? No, because no, no, no. There, there are other states who haven't paid salaries, gratuities, that he is saying wasn't done by the state, like he mentioned No, no, earlier. no, no. You, you, so, see, you see, let's, let's, let's place it right. I'm so, not trying to justify okay. the strike. I'm not even in support of the strike. Okay. For, for, you, for you to get our right. I'm not in support of the strike. Whether now or later or whatever. You know, the, the reason why I'm not in support of the strike is that, look, from my experience uh, in the last uh, years, the strike will not bring out any results. The people that will suffer during the strike are still the masses. Mm. The light that is, there is no electricity in the Imo State, as, as we are told now. The governor was, we, we, we enjoyed uh, 24 hours uh, electricity. In, uninterrupted uh, electricity. Yeah. It is the same people that that's, that's one of the reasons why I don't uh, want to support that. Secondly, the labor you know in, our, in Nigeria today have become a. Uh, I don't even know how, how, how to put it so that the abusing anybody. The people don't uh, give them that recognition again because they've seen them as a, as a unserious uh, 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 union. 
uh, because uh, they, they will eye your hope that they want to do something that you think it will benefit you. At the end of the day, you, they will just uh, change their mind and then the thing will change like that in a, in a way. So in that regard, I don't, I, I'm not in support of the strike. But I will not say because somebody has gone on strike or is going to stri on strike and I, I should ignore the, the illegality, perpetrated uh, alleged illegality of beating uh, the NSC pre president. The beating of anybody is, 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 is against the law. You don't take law into your hands. If everybody should start beating everybody just because he disobeyed court order or because he's, in, he's playing politics, what are we talking about? What are we encouraging? Mm. So for me, I will not encourage that uh, uh, issue of uh, him being beaten. And then the, so, but the strike, like I said, I'm not in support of it. And I, the, the, the strike to, uh, in AMO now will definitely have a, a kind of effect mm. on, the, on, the, on, the, on the coming uh, 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 election. People will not be comfortable to come and even uh, uh, vote. The, the way things are in Emo State now have become uh, somehow not only Emo, Kogi and uh, Baesa, it appears the uh, election are now do or die uh, uh, fear, and then the way we are doing it. And people now see it as just win at all costs. And that's why we are seeing what we are seeing today. So for me, I don't appreciate the fact that uh, Labour, uh, and we should also put it on record, that the strike is not only because Joe Ajero was beaten. This issue in Emo State, we are, as we are told, has been on since 2021. Uh, they, they say there are demands regarding uh, 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 certain workers and uh, employers, uh, employees being classified as a uh, ghost, ghost worker. Yes. Certain uh, pensioners being classified as ghost. So the uh, question I mean, is, why did he wait are, up until this time? No, no, no. Uh, 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 no, I, 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 to respond to no, no, no. I, I, I think if there was no beating of the president, the issue of the strike would not be there now. They won't talk about the strike. They, oh. Because of that beating, I'm not, like I said, even if when the, uh, the president is beating, Going on strike is not the right thing, it's not the solution to, to it. You have the right to go to court and enforce your right mm. for being in fridge. You can do that. But if you are taking, if you are saying because the president has been beaten, then we must go on strike. That means if a, a member, any member that is not a president is also beaten, the NRC, NRC must also go uh, on strike to protect that person. But they are telling us that look, the strike is not only meant, it's not only because it was it was beaten. But for me, like I said, it, the time notwithstanding is 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 not uh, proper right now. And the people that will even suffer more, and that's, that's my own concern. That's why I, I'm not in, a, in support of that. That's why he was asked, saying that perhaps he was play, he's playing politics yes. with, with his, his, his entire opinion. His, 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 mel, his meddlesomeness in the time we are now is wrong. If he wanted to have a strike, nobody disagrees with him. But then, like we were told, and other workers, the civil servants in Nemo State, agreed that no single person is being owed by the government. So under which guys are you going to strike? Then his attempt to wanting to picket a government institution is another issue. And the court has ruled against that. Then, look at the timing. Look at the wrong approach to it. And look at his determination to disrupt an ongoing process. Look at the time when he wanted to do it, just a week before the election. And a lot of things have been put in place to actually stem a wrong tide. So Joe Ajero is a Nigerian. What are you trying to, what message are you trying to convey here? Are you saying you are a statesman, you are playing a statesman role, or you are playing an agenda? Hidden agenda, not known to your members. Because that's what it looks like. Joe Ajero, like you said, is a, a bona fide member of a Labour Party. And you're a Labour chairman, another organization, another institution. So you are middling the two. That means an open mind or a low mind will freely think that what you are doing is in support of your party. But then, if you are doing that in support of your party, would you want your party to win in chaos? Is that how you interpret it? That what he did is I, in support of his I, party? I will not, I will not, I will not, I will not, I will not align with it. So who are you fighting with? Regard. You see, you see, this, this attitude of us, when somebody is saying, doing the right thing or doing something that is, in, that is not prohibited by law, to, 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 in order to, 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 to kill him or something, you tag him, you give him a name. This issue of in, being, doing politics, as far as I'm concerned, he, you know, he wasn't there for politics. He said he was doing a labor of, you know, uh, assignment. At and that, this, and this, this, the, 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 this position my, my of Sigi... The issue is the wrong timing. This position of Sigi is the reason why, from the start, from the onset, when the Labour Party was formed, that I said, 
this is not a, we, are, we should not be following what they do elsewhere to say it is not prohibitive. It, Labour Party can have a party. Mm. It is not, in Nigeria they will turn it turn into another thing. And that 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 that, that thing. In other words, once once you want to do anything mm. that is against uh, the the party in government, at uh, the government in power, the the, 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 party, the party in, in government, government, yeah, against uh, maybe their own party. They will not even look at the genuineness of what they are doing again. Mm. They will look at the policies of it, and that's what we are seeing today. So for me, I, it is not, we are not, we are not, we are not, we are not in that category of a uh, UK, where Labour Party can also form a party and then they will work well and then everything will not be mixed up. Because it, it, they knew, what we'll be looking at now, what was it? What it was doing in Imo State was it? Was it? Was it legal? Mm -hmm. Was it normal? Was it uh, within his, uh, the Labour Union uh, activities? Was it giving the mandate by the Labour to go and do it? If those answers are, are, are right, whether it's purely policy or not, that should be secondary. That should not, it that, be? That should should not, it be knowing that they have a party? No, that's, that's who, an assumption. Who is, part that's of, an assumption. who is part of the election on Saturday? That is an assumption by people, by the opposition, to derail their plan. That, that, and that's what, they, you see, in this country, we like to play, to throw a, 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 a kite to, to, that, to destroy certain uh, legality. And bring something and say, no, once you, once you criticize. Once is Imo State the only state that has owed or has declared some persons ghost workers? It's not the only state. Let, let me, uh, let me, let me. It's not the only let state. Me move I, on. I am aware that they, 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 they are, this has been on for, since 2021. Mm. It's not only, it's not, it's not, it didn't start yesterday. It didn't start the, 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 uh, 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 two weeks ago. It didn't start one month ago. It didn't start one year ago. So for, for me to, for us to now say, is then, why, why did we not complain before, before now? For me, you see, I, like I said, I condemn, I, I, I'm sorry, I'm, I do not, I'm not condemning it. They are not in support of that uh, uh, strike, mm -hmm. not because it's not proper, but because it, it may not yield any uh, positive uh, uh, Result. results, be, 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 looking at the, at, at the background of what has been happening. Uh, let, let me so, but, but for you to term it and say it, it was there, it's not because of politics, I will not, I will not align okay, myself now. in that position. That, 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 be the, that, that would not be a reason for anyone to beat anyone, anybody up. Or whatever. Now, Jajero No, we have not condemned the beating, right? I've not. Jajero, you didn't condemn the beating. The I beating. said, maybe you got what he wanted to you can have. See. You yes. Can see what I'm saying. Now, Jajero, knowing full well that you are a bona fide and a principal member of a Labour Party. Now, that aside, you are still a Labour chairman. Look, Jajero should remember that. In time past, we've had pragmatic labor, labor leaders, people like Oshomole. You remember Oshomole when he, he, he practically fought with the policemen, when he was not allowed to enter into a, a, a bus that was being driven by protesters? Oshomole himself went into that bus and drove it himself. This, there are so many ways you can enforce labor laws. When a process is on, you don't shunt it. And that is the problem Imo state government has with Ajero. Kogi state, if Ajero is saying they are owing the... But the, 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 the workers in, Kogi, in, a, in a Imo state said, this man is not owing up a dime. He I is mean, up to date. We heard it now. We heard it. Do interview. We, no, but we heard them speak. I we mean, heard them speak. No, we heard them speak. Not even from the Imo governor. We heard them speak. And Imo State is not the only state that is, being, is owing our workers. Why this period? Now, on the enforcement of what he is saying, the, law, the court has set aside that, that pronouncement. Mm. It was in writing that the court had vacated that rule, that, uh, that, that, that uh, judgment, that he shouldn't picket any institution in Imo State for any reason. Mm. Why was he bent? on doing that, on the day he went to do it. And don't forget. So, so, so does that, that justify the I'm, I'm coming. No, the beating, no. You see, each time you want us to go into the beating, he was beating. Look, every action has reaction. No, I'm just asking. Every action does got that reaction. So the action he got. Does that, ju I'm asking, the action does he that got justify was, the beating? That, that, that. The action he got was the reaction of the people who actually were opposed to his, his vehement uh, coming to disrupt a process. He was not, be, you know, initially, the, the labor leaders said he was abducted by the policemen, mm. initially, when the news broke. They say, as we speak, they didn't know the whereabouts of their leader. Right. It was later we heard that he was taken into custody. 
That so is. that he will not be further beaten or bruised by the people. Then who are the people who beat, who beat him? The people that are beating were the 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 the, 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 the touts. Who were annoyed, who were not happy with what he came to do because it was a wrong time, a wrong timing, a, trying to shunt the process because he was doing it in the interest of other party where he is a principal member. Mm. A day before that day, he worked with Achonu, who is a party uh, 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 governorship candidate. He, he had a meeting with Achonu and some of the party leaders. It was the day after that day he carried out that uh, uh, nefarious activity. He's a member of the party. Yeah, we are, I'm, not, I'm not against it. But give this a chance. Because the process, the time we are is, 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 doesn't need a disquiet pro, uh, 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 time. The disruptions. It doesn't need the disruption. It is diversionary. And when he came, the people were not happy with it. In fact, the people that even fought him were even Labour members. Yes, I, we were told that people that fought Joe Ajero were Labour members in Imo State who were not happy with his... Uh, his uh, can his, you verify uh, this? this that what we heard is on paper. So on, it, we read it. Yes, that sir. people that fought him were, no. uh, were his members who yeah, were not happy with what he will gladly accept those people's uh, position. Mm. The Labour's own... He will not they, accept. not accept. He will only... Uh, yeah. yeah. Honestly, we, we, see, we like, are see, trying to snake through... See, see, we are trying to snake through what, sir, some things that happened there. See, and see, the, just the way you read, I read too, mm. that the people that attacked Joe, uh, Joe Ajero were member, the same members who is trying to protect... Because George Jerry himself said, you know, in a, in a video inside a, a, a vehicle, he was telling them that look at the people he came to protect. That's what he said in the video. The video is still there. Sigi, Sigi, so, Sigi, who, Sigi, who are the people Sigi, who attacked him? It was still his members. If you want progress for this country, right. we should not be taking this uh, position just because uh, we have an interest. Uh, you, see, you, see, you see, there is no justification for this beating. Mm. The, whether there is a court order or not. I condemn the, those, the go government, I'm not government should be beaten. The, the, but the, I am saying every action has saying, a reaction. You are just the saying only, that you condemn. <laughs> Initially, you, did, you said yes. But every action has a reaction. Right. The, only, the only authority that can enforce court order is the court. Mm. They believe in the court. Even the police, they can't enforce court order. It's not their right to enforce right. court order. It is court right of the court. So if, they, if, they, if there's a breach of court order, it is not within their right to come and beat him out and say that's a court order. And let's look at it again. You say there is, that it was beating. There was crowd. There was whatever. No, has anybody been arrested? Mm. No. You are talking now and saying who beat him then? You know who are who beat him? And the police who are on the ground don't know anybody. Who, they don't know the person. That's what I'm saying. They, 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 the first they, they allegation was to, that they the police him study. beat him up. With, where that was the first. Was, was, he, was he standing alone when he was took, he was taken? Mm. Why there are not people around? So how do they how do they how do they pick him? And nobody is arrested mm. among those uh, people that but, were. Do you know that labor, labor, labor members themselves were even in that melee confused? Because initially, when the dust actually settled, they said he was adopted. Mm. That was the first report. It was later on, some hours later, we heard that he was taken hostage by the police. Later on, hours later, we heard that it was from the police now that he was taken into custody, trying to prevent him from being beat, further beaten or sustaining more bruises. Mm. Later, same Ajero in the, in the video inside the, 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 the bus, bus or wherever it was, was saying that, look at the people I was trying to protect. Who are the people? If it was not same, if it was not beaten by the same people who, who were not happy coming to shunt the process right. or trying to give a leeway to his own party to win. I think we, we, we need to sometimes bring issues to, 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 to bay so that we, we actually would look at the issue from every perspective and angle. Labor, Labor will not be doing politics when they do protest that it will be in favor of government in power. That they, 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 they or, trust or, of course. When, when, oh. when Labor was part of the, of the protest in 2012, Mm. Nobody talked about politics. But uh, I, Labour Party was alive at that time. But that was not no, an election nobody, period. It doesn't matter. It does. It doesn't matter. It but does. Let me, how does it not matter? No, it's not the politics. Let me politics take, is not played when election is... Let me take it from your word. Start your politics before even... before The 2007 election has been planned now, as, as we are speaking. Really? Mm. People are planning on it. So it's part of the plan. In fact, that, that protest was part of the plan to remove PDP at that time. Mm. And it, it worked. PDP. Nobody talks about... Uh, Labour Party. Were you there when the plan was being done? They were there. Were you there when the plan was being done? That this was part of that was part of the process then to remove the PDP. Uh, just like you allege. No, but you are alleging. Yes. But just like we speak, you know that I, I, as you I, I, speak. I, I, let me take you from your word. 
Do you know as we speak, nobody takes labor serious again? Yeah, I agree with you. And that's why I say I didn't... I didn't so, do you understand? Right. So, they've lost their salt. Well, their presidential has candidates not salty at, at, at the presidential and election. And why did they lose? It was because labor they have has become said, a joker. No, no, they it's have said... So, coming, going to... Hang on, uh, going hang to, on. Go, go to, uh, they have uh, said now. that they were ensured that they are a formidable opposition. That's what Peter B said. In his presser. No, so Labour Party and Labour Union. Labour joined the Labour Party. Labour Party. Labour Party. Labour Union. DUC. No, no, no. And okay. other, I thought other he was talking about Labour Party. Labour Party. No, all of them joined the Labour Party. Labour Union. Yes. Okay. Okay. In fact, the Union office in Abuja is, in, is even in the Labour Party office. They've lost their value because they don't do the, what Nigeria expects. So they keep doing right. wrong things. They don't do the, what Nigeria expects of them. Because uh, if, as a Labour Union, if you want to hold government to account, you hold it to account. It's not as if it's not that you want to say, you want to do this, you romance with the government and come back and say, we have that. Uh, but, but before no. we go, what, how much impact do you see this having on the election? Because uh, people have to come out to, you know, the, exercise their the, franchise. The, the only impact I see is um, there is no inbound and uh, outbound uh, flights to Imo. There's no, no electricity as well. Like there's no electricity, correspondent you know. Said. Mm. But then, people will still exercise their, their, their rights. They will still come out to vote. And... Ajero should not forget that this might even have an effect on his own party, mm. which is Labour Party. Yes, there might be sympathy vote for the ruling party because all the justices are against them. All the thing Ajero wanted to do was to make sure the other party is not uh, uh, fully uh, uh, recognized. But in this way, there might be sympathy votes for the party even mm. he's trying to fight. Assumption. Okay, so well, how do you see it? That's how an assumption. It's an assumption. So how do you well, see well, the it, impact? For me, you see, this, unfortunately, I see election in Imo State and uh, even in Kogi State. It's not, it's not going to be free and fair. Mm. It's not going to be. Mm. I, I trust you. And I, I, unfortunately, too, it may, like, it, it may, lead, why, to, why it, so? it may lead to loss of life. You know, you see, the, you see the, the Friday that will be sweet, you know, from Thursday. You see the, the preparation. You see what is happening. The election has not even come. You see how people are being chased. That will be low turnout. That is, that is, that is, take that one. That will be low turnout. People will be afraid of to come out and even there. You see, you don't force yourself into power. And that, that's what we see in Nigeria today. People who claim that they uh, have been given mandate are not been given mandate. They force themselves into power. And they, because they see the attitude that, look, once we, uh, 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 we win, it will be a, a, a clear task for you to obtain it at the court. So they want to do everything possible to just win first. And then they leave you to court to, 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 to do your, 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 if I become your problem, you go and face your problem. Right. And then they see how it can. So for me, until we have, again, until we have security agencies, that will be impartial. Because these days. They this, have promised to. Uh, they've only been promising. The, the promise is not, it's different from uh, uh, acting it. You promise you don't work it. They will have been hearing promises all this while. We have been hearing promises that there will be this, this will happen, this will not happen. We, we, saw, we, saw, we saw, we saw, I, I, I have lost that uh, opportunity for me. Right. In my own mind, I don't give that chance. Until I see, it. <laughs> if they do it this time around, right. I, will, I will renew my opportunity. We, <laughs> we have to leave this conversation here now. Lawyer Tunji Abduhamid, thank you for your time. Political analyst Ziggy Ibe, thank you for your time as well. Thank you for having thank me. You, thank you for having me.